G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up an MSI Victor 16 HX A14 VHG. And this particular one has got two NVMe drives in there. And I'm opening it up to remove one for data preservation while I do a reinstall. So you guys can come along for the journey and we'll learn about what else can be upgraded in here. So this is a model I'm not overly familiar with as I'm mainly used to seeing the budget version of the MSI laptops. Okay, this is definitely at the polar opposite end. Definitely noticing they continue having random patterns all on the bottom of it. Kind of going all over the place. Not sure why like these start and stop and these are off-centered. It's a bit odd. Some of these screws aren't wanting to leave. They are loosening, but they are just getting stuck, which is a bit annoying, rather than lifting up and out. Hopefully, so hopefully a pair of tweezers can assist with that. Uh, yes, kind of. Go, now they're all removed. In theory, hmm. by the state of this has been opened once before. And there is pry marks over on the edge. Now looking here, one battery to disconnect, I'm going to do that right now, hopefully. I was trying to get a nail on the tab here, but that's proven to be a little bit difficult. Get this out of the way. Kind of walk it back like so. Looking at it, the Kingston KC3000 and a one terabyte NVMe that has been overly well installed. The screw was very loose. Lift this up, walk it back. Go, okay, we have a Samsung SSD. That one definitely looks pre-existing. I'm going to put that off to the side. I think that's the one that I want. To install it, all we need to do is line up a little mark here, with a mark here, slot it in, push down, and then tighten the screw up from there. Okay. Since what I want to do is take this one out, I'll do that now. And for the RAM, it would be under the full cover here. Lift this up. We have two sticks of crucial. These little metal tabs here push out. The RAM lifts up. I can wobble it and then I can pull it out. There's a little notch here that lines up with there. 32 gig of DDR5 5600. So put that in. Put it in on an angle. Make sure the gap lines up. Push down should click into position like so. 
Same with the other side. And then when you're done installing your ram, I'm going to assume this arrow points upwards. And there's these little tabs along the outside of it. I'm going to line them up. Line them up. And it should be able to push down. And it should clip into position. And that should hold it. Once we're done, finish upgrading your RAM, connect up the battery once more. There we go. And I need to put this back down the bottom here. Out of the way. So now I'm going to reinstall Windows onto the MVME here and go from there. Do have a Wi Fi card under here. That's about all I'm going to be doing on this particular one right now. So we can upgrade RAM, we can upgrade, add another NVMe drive. Strangely, we can't add two, which is slightly disappointing. Or we'll have three in total. Got Wi Fi card here. And yeah, slight bit of upgradeability. And I'm going to proceed from here. Now I'm all good to put these screws back in. Hopefully, they all go back in easily. Yep, they're all going in just fine. And since they're all of the same length, don't be too concerned about where you put them. Too bad my screwdriver has lost some of its magnetism. But I'm just going to continue putting these in. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.